So I found 14 real remote jobs that you can actually do at night. And the best thing about these is most of them don't require much when it comes to experience or a college degree. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos and you want me to make more of them in the future, go ahead and cheers the like button and let's jump into it. First one on the list is going to be a Roblox Studio Coding Instructor. Yes, this is very specific. And if you've ever thought about turning your late night gaming hobby into a teaching gig, then this might be a great one for you. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna specialize in teaching others how to create and script games using Roblox Studio. And specifically, the programming language you'd be using is Lua. And if you don't believe me that there's jobs available, you can check right there. And depending on whether you're working part-time or full-time, you'd make anywhere from 16,000 to 83,000 thousand dollars a year so yeah this one is pretty good overall um it's obviously very niche like you'd have to be somebody who's into video gaming and also programming but with that being said this is a pretty good one i'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way my team and i did an insane amount of research in order to make this video we spent hundreds and hundreds of hours doing this so if you appreciate that you can let us know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it with number two on the list which is going to be a remote hr administrator. So HR, of course, stands for human resources. And these are the unseen guardians of employee welfare working in the shadow of the night. So this is basically an HR person who is an administrator and they work the night shift. And HR administrators make about fifty-two dollars to $81,000 a year. And typically you're going to make on the upper end of that range if you work the night shift. This is one where typically they do require a college degree, although you don't necessarily need a specific college degree. But overall, it's pretty good. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you'd like to pause the video, I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen. You can just pause the video and check them out. All right, so if you're exhausted with your nine to five, pay close attention. These were my earnings after a few months of doing YouTube when I was working as a full-time pharmacist. And a short time after that, I was making more from YouTube than I was at my pharmacist job. And because of this, I was able to quit my job, travel the world, and have time, freedom, and location independence. And I'm gonna be doing a live training where I walk you through the five simple steps that enabled me to do this and how you can use these five steps to have success on YouTube as well. And if you sign up now, you can also get a free mini course that I will only be giving out during the live training. Now the live training is going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday and you can check the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below just to make sure we got the right time for you. Now there is limited seating for the live training because it's actually going to be a live Zoom session with me. So we can only have so many people show up to it so it's kind of a first come first serve type of thing. So definitely click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to reserve your spot. And to be honest with you I usually charge a thousand dollars an hour for my consulting sessions and these are the same types of things that I would tell people, but I'm giving this away to you for free. And there's also going to be a Q&A session where you can ask me any questions that you have about YouTube. Now, all of this will only be available during the live session. There's no replays and it's not going to happen anywhere else. So you absolutely have to show up to it. So make sure you click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You don't want to miss out on this. Also, make sure you put it in your calendar, mark out some time, make sure you're not busy so that you can fully pay attention and take notes. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be a breakdown coordinator. This is basically where you're a 911 operator, but for trucks, minus the sirens, but with all of the action. And in a world of logistics where every minute counts, the breakdown coordinator is the unsung hero, orchestrating repairs like a maestro night after night. And of course, a lot of these breakdowns do happen in the middle of the night. So basically, what you're going to be doing is managing incoming calls to coordinate vehicle repair. And there's also a good chance you'll be coordinating transportation for the driver, as well as hotel accommodations if they're needed as well. And typically, these roles are essential in transportation and logistical companies. And in this position, you'd expect to make about forty-six to $67,000 a year. So yeah, this one is pretty good, relatively easy to get into as well. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is going to be a social media representative. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about somebody who works on YouTube, since I have a YouTube channel and I'm a little biased about it, right? So there's a lot of different social media representatives. You can work on many different platforms. Sometimes you'll be kind of a generalist where you work with all of the different platforms. But basically, you're going to be managing the company's social media platforms by creating content, engaging with the audience, and monitoring social media trends to enhance your online presence and brand awareness. And these professionals are hired by a wide range of different types of companies, including marketing agencies, retail brands, tech firms, 
media companies, and small businesses looking to establish or grow their online presence. And in many cases, you're gonna need to work the night shift in order to do this. And social media representatives make about 40 to $57,000 a year, which is great considering they like to hire people that don't necessarily have any experience or a college degree. And a lot of the time they're hiring people that are young just because of the fact that young people kind of grew up consuming social media and so they tend to be really good at it. Overall, this one is great. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. It's relatively easy to get into as well. I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Now, if you wanna start your own YouTube channel and skip the whole having a job thing, that's an even better opportunity if you ask me. I was stuck in a nine to five job that I didn't like for years. I worked as a pharmacist and I was able to escape the nine to five by starting my own YouTube channel and helping a bunch of other people. And if you're interested in this and you want to do the same thing, I actually do have some free training, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. At the end of the free training, you'll get an opportunity to apply to work with me. We only accept about 10 to 15% of people who apply because we really only want to work with people who are very serious about growing and making money from their YouTube channel. But we do accept a few people every month. So if you're that type of person who's really serious about this, go ahead and apply below. Next is going to be a high ticket closer. And this is a position where you're basically selling high ticket products and services to people or businesses. And some of the common industries that they might be hired in would be luxury markets, high end real estate, B2B services, which means business to business services, financial services and technology sectors where high value transactions are common. And there are countless examples of people who have started off in high ticket sales. A lot of the time they didn't need previous experience or a college degree, and they've been able to make a ton of money doing it. For instance, this guy right here, he made a Reddit comment about how he works two to three hours a day as a remote closer, and he made over $100,000 in his first year. And this is incredibly common. In fact, high ticket sales closers typically make 94 to $159,000 a year. Plus there's higher level positions that you can move into where you can make even more than that. And a lot of the time they are gonna need people who can work the night shift because some people, for whatever reason, might be living in a different country than you, or they just have weird work hours and they need to take calls at night. And so if a company doesn't have someone working the night shift, they're leaving a lot of money on the table. So yeah, this one can be really good. I'll go ahead and give it an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. By the way, if you wanna get into one of those types of sales jobs, which in my opinion is one of the best ones, it would be tech sales. And the specific position you'd go into is called a business development representative. And I really like tech sales because it's not one of those sort of like hard closer type of positions. It's more about forming relationships with other companies and then figuring out what their problems are and then seeing if your you know company can either have a solution already that can solve their problem or in some cases even develop solutions that you can use to solve those people's problems. So I really do like tech sales because it's a little bit less like, oh, you have to close the deal on the first call type of thing and more about relationship building. And by the way, I've helped a ton of people get into tech sales. I have a bunch of interviews, an entire playlist of people that we've gotten jobs in tech sales on the channel. And if you're interested in getting into tech sales yourself, there's actually some free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a financial representative. Now, this one is really good. There's a lot to like about it, but it does typically require a college degree not necessarily a specific college degree, but it does require a college degree typically. And a lot of the time they're gonna prefer if you have some previous experience as well. And financial representatives basically just provide advice and guidance on different financial products. And these products or services are designed to help the client properly invest. And this is done so that they can take care of their financial needs and meet their financial goals. And financial representatives make about 63 to $108,000 a year. So this is a really good one. It does require a little bit of time to get into it. So not everybody watching this video would be a good fit for it. But with that being said, I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. So yeah, this is another one that's pretty good. Uh, you can definitely check it out if you'd like to. Next is gonna be a much easier one to get into and that is a loan consultant. And this is basically somebody who evaluates and advises clients on various different loan options. So you can basically help them choose the best financial products or services based on their needs and their situation. And these professionals are typically hired by banks, credit unions, mortgage companies, and financial consulting firms. And loan consultants make an astonishing 74 to $136,000 a year. Now, the crazy thing is you don't necessarily have to have a college degree or previous experience, although depending on the company you apply for, some of them are going to prefer that. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, comment below if you like any of these and maybe you want me to go into more detail on some of them and there's a good chance that I'll do that on a future video 
or if there's some that you thought I should have included on this list, but I didn't. Next is going to be a collections specialist. Now, this is kind of on the other side of the whole debt thing that we have going on in the United States. And this is basically where somebody gets into debt, they're not paying off their loans, and you would basically kind of seek them out, find them, and see if you can get them to pay it or make some kind of deal with them so that they pay part of it. So not the most glamorous job to get into, but it's a super easy one to land actually. And collection specialists make about 39 to $56,000 a year. So yeah, this is a really easy one to get into. There's also a lot of availability at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score as well. I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is gonna be a crisis hotline specialist. And this is basically somebody who is a beacon of hope in the darkest hours of the night. Now, as you can imagine, crisis often happen in the middle of the night and specifically we're talking usually about mental health crises and these specialists are basically there when somebody needs help in the middle of the night right so they're employed by mental health organizations nonprofits and emergency response services and they basically provide an essential lifeline to those in need so it's definitely one of those positions where you have to be pretty mentally tough because you're gonna be dealing with people who are in a tough situation all the time but with that being said it can be a really good job for the right type of person hotline operators make about about 37 to 56 thousand dollars a year and typically if you work the night shift you'll be on the higher end of that range so yeah pretty good one i'll go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score i'll put some opportunities up on the screen if you want to pause the video next is going to be a resource specialist and a lot of the times resource specialists are going to be working for either some sort of educational institution like a college or some sort of community. And basically you're gonna help them with their diverse needs when it comes to the resources that you were offering them in the beginning. So for instance, a lot of the times colleges will offer certain types of resources to their students. They might offer health insurance or something along those lines. And then someone all of a sudden has some sort of health issue, so they need to use their health insurance. And so they would contact a resource specialist. And sometimes this does happen in the middle of the night and resource specialists make pretty good money about 51 to eighty thousand dollars a year now the crazy thing about this is you don't need to get a college degree or have previous experience although it does vary from business to business which ones they are going to prefer but there are opportunities out there where you don't have to have a college degree or previous experience so this one's pretty good i'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score i'll put some opportunities up on the screen you can check them out another really similar one is going to be a benefits associate and this is basically where you're like the gps for for healthcare benefits. And in this case, you can work for a bunch of different types of organizations, all the way from businesses to colleges, nonprofits, etc. And you're going to be helping people to navigate the healthcare system, which is especially complicated in the United States. And you're basically going to be providing them information on different benefits plans and helping them make enrollment decisions. And benefits associates make about forty-six to $68,000 a year, and it's a relatively easy position to get into. So yeah, overall, I'll give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. It's pretty good. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be remote phone triager. And this is a very interesting position where basically you talk to somebody that the company thinks they might be able to help, but they're not really sure that they can help. And this is actually kind of a sales type position. And then if that person is qualified, you would pass them off to the salesperson. If they're not qualified, you'd maybe send them some free resources, tell them you know, why they're not qualified, why they wouldn't work out with your company, and that kind of thing. So this is a very important position because you save your sales team a bunch of time and you make sure that everyone they talk to is qualified. So they make really good money. There's a lot of different types of jobs. And yeah, overall, you're kind of the gatekeeper to the customer interacting with the company. A lot of the time you're gonna get on very short calls with people. They might be 15 minutes or even as short as just a few minutes. And you basically just ask them questions and see if they're a good fit for your product or service. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a systems and network operator. And this is somebody who monitors and supports an organization's computer systems and networks during the night, ensuring smooth 24 seven operations. And these types of roles are absolutely vital in tech companies, financial institutions, and any business that has critical technology needs for infrastructure that's actually working around the clock. Now, this is a higher level IT position. You could start off in some of the lower level IT positions, but still a really good one. They make about 88 to $128,000 a year. And typically you'll start off in a lower level IT position, which are actually extremely easy to get into. For instance, IT help desk. And then you would be able to work your way up to this position within a few years. So yeah, typically you're not gonna go straight into this position. So I can't give it a super high opportunity score, but still a really good one to get into because anyone can do it. They don't need a 
college degree. So I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is going to be a telehealth coordinator. And this is somebody who basically facilitates and supports telemedicine services during the night. And this includes patient scheduling and remote health monitoring. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of different types of facilities out there, for instance, hospitals, clinics, et cetera, that need to offer 24 seven healthcare services. And that means they need to be having people that are on the phone or can get on the phone 24 seven. And telehealth coordinators make about forty-six to $72,000 a year. So yeah, this one is really easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience in many cases. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, I made a video that went viral and it's 10 no interview remote jobs that are always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.